Today I'm here with a video showing my top 5 free Windows applications. Now of course pretty much everything you can find a paid version of, however you would be really surprised at what you can find for free and what should really be on every Windows computer. The first program I'll be showing you is GIMP. GIMP is a free and open source Photoshop alternative that allows you to do some fairly advanced photo editing for free. Now it supports a wide variety of features including layers, paths, there's a wide variety of color options tools and a wide wide variety of filters that allow you to really customize and fine tune exactly how you want to create your photos or any other graphic design work. Now if you already use Photoshop there's no real reason to change over to GIMP. Uh, Photoshop still does have some higher end features and generally it, it seems to work a little bit better. It's got a little bit of, of a better UI. But overall if you're looking for something free and you just need to do some moderate uh, Photoshopping and whatnot, uh, GIMP is definitely going to be a great choice. Another very useful program is CCleaner. Now CCleaner is a general utility that helps you speed up your computer and get rid of all the junk. Uh, so not only does it handle the standard uh, system applications such as getting rid of temporary files and whatnot, but it also will take care of your various third party applications such as browsers, um, you know, Splash Player, there's a wide variety. And what it does is just cleans up the added junk, the temporary files, all that kind of stuff that you don't need. Now it also does have a registry cleaner. I generally don't like to recommend that you would use these, but of course it is there if you ever decide that you need it. Um, but probably one of my favorite features of CCleaner is the fact that it will allows you to really easily choose what programs you want to run when you first turn on your computer. Now that's a big deal, of course lots of computers get really slow. Um, as you install more and more programs they automatically load even if you don't need them. So all you need to do is open up CCleaner, pick out whatever programs you want to automatically run when you start up your computer and you're going to be good to go. One of the first programs I always install when I first boot up Windows is VLC Media Player. Now VLC is a fantastic program that basically allows you to play pretty much any audio or video file you can find. And this is really helpful as you, know, you can very you know find QuickTime and plugins and all that kind of stuff. But with VLC you don't have to worry about anything. Simply download the program, pick out whatever video file you want, and it pretty much plays it no issue whatsoever. In addition to that, it also does run with hardware acceleration and has a lot of really nice features as far as the playback and as well as allowing you to convert your video files so if you need to convert from mp4 to mov or for whatever reason you want to do you can absolutely do that with VLC now as far as antivirus software goes there's absolutely no reason to go out and pay a lot of money for some supposedly great software when you can just download Microsoft Security Essentials now this is a free antivirus software that is obviously from Microsoft and it does a fantastic job of keeping your computer nice and clean and it automatically updates itself and it runs really well in the background so you don't really have to, have to worry about updating or anything like that it pretty much does everything you need and on top of that it's really not a big drain on system resources so if you need an antivirus software if you're not happy with what you currently have or if you're tired of paying for it I absolutely recommend Microsoft Security Essentials now as far as keeping your files secure and safe I highly recommend using TrueCrypt using TrueCrypt allows you to encrypt all of your files you can do your entire system disk or you can create specific disks and then put your files inside of them and it uses some very very advanced security now I will say that TrueCrypt is not the easiest program to use it can get a little bit confusing there's a lot of mounting and selecting your files and making sure everything works but overall if you're looking for something to keep your files secure um, and when I say secure I mean very very secure I highly recommend taking a look at TrueCrypt so there you go my top five free Windows applications that really everyone should have now in addition to that I do want to show you one last one and I get this question a lot in my screencast is what is this thing on the bottom left of my taskbar well this is called super bar monitor and what it is is a very very small application that allows me to see what's going on with my CPU load without having to pull a widget up or opening task manager now like I said it's a very very simple thing there's really not a whole lot to do about it um, however it's definitely very useful um, unfortunately it is only Windows 7 so unlike the other five this is only for people who have Windows 7 but if you do have Windows 7 and you're looking for something like this I definitely recommend it it's very useful to take a look at at any rate if you're interested in any of the applications that I show definitely be sure to take a look in the description of this video I'll have links to download them all and of course they are all free and if you found this video helpful be sure to click that subscribe button above and you'll be notified with all of my new content